Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Observe- Okay. Now we're in Sanctuary, the place where Adam, who might not actually be Adam, and I have a sneaking suspicion, told us to go. I'm just gonna say it right here and now, I think Adam is actually dead, and that this, uh, thing that we've been talking to is some kind of rogue AI or something. Hello? No? Okay. Do you open? No? Okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Well, how fancy of you. Digital uh, guardrails. Interesting. What are all these? Are there people in these? Are they pods of some kind? Don't all you doors just start start flinging open at once and spooking me now. Because that would be predictable. Well, it didn't do anything. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hello there. Hi, how are you? Wait, hold on. Before I mess with that, let me make sure there's nothing else over here that I need to look at and take attention to the Hello? I can't even see over there. Oh wait, that's right. Nothing but wires. It would appear. Ah, so bright! No? Okay. I, I, as many times as I complained about how dark it was in certain parts of this game, I guess the whole time I could have just been doing that. <laughs> okay. What are you? Hello? Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Sanctuary Salon. Please state your full name. Why? What do you need my name for? Customer name is needed in order to confirm a reservation. Reservation? What is this place? Sanctuary Salon. Established 2074. The salon offers top quality virtual reality experiences. Expertly crafted to meet our customers' needs. Sanctuary. Your safe refuge in an unsafe world. So, a drug house, but for virtual reality. Daniel Lazowski. Identity confirmed. Subscription status active. Thank you, Mr. Lazarski. Your capsule is ready. Capsule? Oh. I guess it would be that one, since that's the only screen that came on. Press to open. Well, I've played Soma. I know usually sitting in chairs with helmets turns out bad, but let's do it anyway. I'm sure we're gonna go into more virtual terror. It'll be awesome. Oi. What the hell is this? The forest of the damned? Oh, this is it. I've died and gone to hell. Everything was a big old elaborate trick. I guess we go to the tree in the middle here since it's the... Whoa, everything got very bright and kind of pretty and very sepia kind of way. There's a TV screen on this tree. Of course there is. Oh, it's not even a real tree. <laughs> of course not. It's all made of wires. Hello there. Adam. Adam. Yes. I know it's hard to believe after all you've seen, but I need you to trust me on this. We don't have much time. What about the body I found? It's, it's complicated. What you found wasn't me. Not anymore. But I'm here right now, and I need your help. If you're my son, prove it. How would I do that? Just try. Tell me something only we would know. How big is my left testicle, son? I know you've seen it. <laughs> Mountain hunting, huh? What about it? What? When I was a child, you would sometimes wake me up before dawn. We'd go down to the river and watch the sunrise together. And for that smog to clear just enough that we could see the mountains. And 
Never happened. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't prove shit. Of course. A computer could be programmed. Lying, didn't we? A computer could be programmed to remember that. Hiding from Chirion or working for Chirion. Sh you were hiding here in the stacks. Yes. When they terminated my project, I hid where they wouldn't look for me. In time, I found people who were willing to help me. I managed to retrieve most of my data and carry on with my research. When were you working? Imagine if all your thoughts, your memories, everything that defines you could be transferred into a digital realm. Oh, to like... this long past your physical body. Beyond limitations. Beyond sickness and death. Like San Juna Perno from Black Mirror. Just to keep existing. Sounds like a living nightmare. It wasn't in that changed, story. Heavy. I knew you wouldn't understand. In that story, real she life was a nightmare. Soon. I promise. I get it though, because this game is dealing with the kind of much like Black Mirror normally does, it's dealing with the horror aspects of uh cyber or technology advancements. The the killer. I still don't see how the splicer fits into all this. Yeah, werewolf man. That's why we didn't see him coming. He was an unforeseen factor. A convenient tool. Bullshit. It's all too coincidental. The the werewolf guy was there for some reason. And I'm not so sure anymore that werewolf guy and Darth Ross are the same person. I have some suspicions, like I said before, about the monster, look, what they look like, what observers look like. But I don't know. It, some things just aren't fitting together, but we'll see. Helena saved your research and smuggled it out of car. Oh! Yeah. So we got her killed. Yes. And I'm here too. It was his research! Wasn't part of the plan. But I had to. The project was too important, Dad. What about the surgeon? What was his angle? Yeah. Jack. He admired what I was trying to accomplish. Actually, I think he wanted to be me. So all of the people that we, whose minds we have connected to as part of the story are all somehow tied in to Adam. They are related to the shit that he did. Helena and Amir were smuggling his research out of Chiron, and uh, the other guy, the surgeon, was aspiring to be like him. It seems like the side quest ones, the optional ones, are the only ones that aren't related to Adam, but... When did you become this digital ghost? Wow. When Splicer came for me, I had to improvise. I managed to get out before it was too late, hoping they couldn't follow me into the web. Yeah, so whose body was in I your apartment then? came after me with a virus. A hunter-killer algorithm. It's eating through my defenses. If they break down, I'll be gone for good. How uh can we stop it? We can't. I tried masking my signature, but it was too late. If I could bust out of the building's internal network, I might be able to outrun it. So we need to lift the damn one now. The source of the signal is well protected. It's like the mother of all firewalls. Which gives us only one option. A manual override. That's where you come in. Of course. Of course. But I'm probably going to face opposition in actual physical form. In And the firewall will manifest itself as some kind of demon or something and chase me Where does the this signal come from? I couldn't pinpoint the exact location, but I've narrowed it down. It seems to have originated in the adjoining building. The high rise? Yeah. I think it's the epicenter of all this madness. The signal appears to be coming from the upper levels. And Dad? Watch your step. Chiron still has control over that place. And you. Not anymore. Yeah, that's what you think. The more you struggle, the harder they try and get into your head. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Darkest before dawn. Which reminds me. Once you get out, follow the light. Follow the light. Okay. Is that a hint on what I'm supposed to do? So, uh, holy shit. Whoa, hey there, elevator ride. This game really would have benefited from being in VR, I'm not gonna lie, but... I said that about Layers of Fear as well. So some about the way Blooper Team develops their games. But they couldn't even get it to run at a steady 30 frames on PS4 Pro. How in the hell would they have managed VR? 
so yeah. So now what? Said something about following the light. There's light up there, but I can't climb or get up to windows. So I guess I'll just look around. So that kind of one of my other theories about the Darth Ross monster is um, that he was. Uh, Oh, there's a light on in there now. There wasn't a light on in there before. Maybe this is open now? It is. Okay. So anyways, um... One of my other thoughts before was that the Darth Ross type monster could actually be some kind of antivirus or firewall uh, in the virtual world that physically manifests itself to protect people's memories and that data and such. But, I don't know, I think there's a little bit more to it than that. I just feel like that could be a small part of it. Now what? Oh. Is this, is this for real? It's more digital shit in the real world. But I can't help but wonder. So, so Victor, so they use the term splicer in this game too, just like in Bioshock. But instead, in Bioshock, it references people who splice up plasmids and add them too much. And in this game, I think it represents people who have too many cybernetic enhancements or like mix themselves with uh, other things, like animals and shit. So. Hi! Hello again there, robot lady who talks but mouth not move. No? Okay. Alright then! I guess I have to do something else. Can't get through there. Huh. Oh. Alright. I guess that's what we do then. Oh. Well, I guess things have begun to take a turn for the worse, right? Is that why everything turned grayscale? Well, nothing but long hallways here. And, uh, oh, hi there. How are you doing? Oh, I can, I can, what, oh, am I supposed to? <laughs> It really is the fucking phage. Okay. You've been exposed anyway. Keep it together. So Dan has the gen the genophage. Well, thanks for revealing that to us. The genophage, if you guys don't remember, is that virus everyone's worried about here that if you have cybernetic enhancements, it can affect you. And what it does is it eats away at you from the inside out. Okay. Uh, should Nanophage quarantine. Remove your implant. Digital decay. Quarantine. Semita. Nanophage outbreak. Is there someone out there? Oh. Help me, please. Was that you? What's going on here? Why are you people in capsules? Yeah. They've locked us in. Those bastards. We're not even sick. Let us out. How do I open the capsules? I think there's a control room nearby. Just follow the light. That's what Dan. That's what Adam said, too. If you can't help me, please. My son is still out there. His father has gone insane, delirious. I'm afraid he might do something to our boy. You can't let that happen. Hmm. If I can find him, I'll get him out. Thank you. You've always been such a good boy. What did you say? Yeah, something's not right about this either. I don't fully trust what I'm seeing. Remember that ever since we had the, um... Remember that ever since we had the, uh... What you call it? Oh. Okay. Why is everything going all zippity zap now? Uh, ever since we hooked up to that corpse, we've been seeing shit in the real world, 
and I'm not so sure if I completely trust what's happening here and now. Uh, to be completely honest with you. This could be a trick, and if I don't for one second believe, I believe that Adam is actually dead. Who? what, where, 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 where? Okay. Alrighty then. Just move along my happy little way here. Okay. Am I supposed to open you? I want this entire floor first. Oh, some of the patients are still symptom free. For now. We need to cut our losses. I'm not losing all my subjects out of some misguided sense of empathy. Okay. I tried to turn on my night vision, but look what happens. I can't use it. I can't use any of my scanners or anything. Which is part of why I don't believe I'm in the real world now. Anymore. Okay. I guess we sneak down here. Squabble dobble deeble dobble hoo biddy boo. Just go. Of course. Because it just wouldn't be that easy, would it? Alright, what do I do here? Besides, not let him see me, obviously. There's a thing right here. I guess I just go in here. Sneak around him. Ooh, I heard him growling over there. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not, and I'm afraid to stand up. But God damn it, I'm gonna. I'm, just, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go in here because I hear him. It's the footsteps of doom. Where is he? Not like I'm really aching to find out, but I guess uh I guess we'll just go this way. Oh, I really wish I could use my night vision right now. I can barely see a goddamn thing. It's okay. We're okay. Oh, look, it's saved. Yay, checkpoint. All right, moving on. Yeah. Okay. All right. I hope I'm going the right way. I have a hard time telling. Okay. Is he here again? Yep. Oh, yeah, there he is, right there. Just gonna sneak in here, then. God damn him. He's going right where I need to go. I think. I wish there was a way I could peek. Ah! Alright then. Seriously though, this game needs a fucking peek mechanic, not a zoom mechanic. Why was Outlast the only game smart enough to do that? Why? Why? Man, I hope I'm going the right way. So the last thing I want to do is turn a corner and then accidentally run into his big ass. Okay, he's over here now. Oh man, the tension is so real here. But thank God for all these vents. God, they come in handy. I think this part would be fucking impossible without these vents to hide in, honestly. This better be my last encounter with this asshole in the game. Because this, as relentless as he's being right now, I feel like this... Okay. Would you make up your mind already? Go somewhere. Fuck. I think he went... away. So I'm gonna come out to play. I'm 
gonna go over here now. I shouldn't be walking. Ah! Oh, I heard a noise. Ah, oh, fuck me in the ass! Ah! Open, 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 get in there! Ah! Oh, oh, Jesus ass! Oh my god. Mother of Christ. I pissed him off. I pissed him off right good. Ah, damn it, now he's on the hunt. I've been following this monster's patrol pattern for a while. It seems to me like he goes over here by these red TV screens and then teleports back to an area further back that way. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit shit shit. Don't don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't you dare. Oh my god. Thank you Jesus. See, I was right. He does teleport. Oh, and he teleported at just the perfect time. Okay, now I'm going. I am gone. I am out of here. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, man. I, I sat in that vent and sat there and studied his patrol pattern for like a good ten minutes before I decided to move on. <sighs> I hope we're done with him. I really do. I can't take any more of this shit. Okay. What's going on in here? What's with all the bangy wagon? Let's take a look at this. Run. Oh. Oh, that is. So he's turning into the blob from, uh. Oh, okay, I see what she means. Run, run. And run is in run, run. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Okay. Ah! Okay, I'm running. Oh, damn. I don't think it can get me in here, can it? I mean, it is made of tentacles and shit. Okay, run, run, run. Are we still... Am I supposed to still be running or... Ah! Oh. Ah! I still hear it. I don't trust it. Wait, when? Hello? Oh, no, this is a dead end. Still can't use my stuff. Still can't use my stuff. Okay, uh... Oh, alright. I guess I unplug these to get through. Come on. Yeah. I guess I can stand now. Nope, guess not. Oh, do I have to... Oh, that's a that's a picture. Well, that's not where I needed to go then. That was just for a collectible. Or was it? Oh, maybe I should unplug all of these, huh? That might be part of it. Ah. Did that do anything for me? Something open over here now? Oh, that was something I could have moved. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, God. That's all I need is to run some more from that giant mutated thing. Or should I not? Does it matter? Can I? Can I? Oh, right. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. I think there would be chase music or something if I needed to run. I think I'm okay. 
sure whatever's happening, it will present itself when the time is necessary. Oh boy. Man, getting past that bastard at that one part was kind of hot. Oh god, here we go with the intestines strewn everywhere again. Alright, where do I go? Not this way. Long, narrow corridor. I think we're, uh, coming up on the grand finale here. As evident by the organ music. That's supposed to happen. <laughs> hey, who's breathing in my ear? Knock it off. There must have been a misunderstanding. I was told you decided not to undergo the augmentation procedure. Yes. Just to be clear, you do realize that that drastically decreases your chances of recovery? I. I made my decision. Thank you. Honey, I'm proud of you. You can do this. I know you can. I'll be there for you. So, these are Dan's memories I'm gathering. His wife had some kind of disease. You owe me this much. And that's how she died. You take care of him. Whatever it takes. And she could have survived if she decided to get cybernetic implants, but she chose to stay completely 100% purely human. After you left, Mom was very sad. I asked her what was wrong, and she said the doctors could cure her, but she wasn't sure if she wanted them to. It's not that simple. What the doctors wanted to do, there was a heavy price to be paid. She wouldn't be herself. She wouldn't be your mom anymore. That's not what I'm asking. I want to know, did mom decide for herself? Did she really want this? Of course she did. Your mother believed she was strong enough to beat this thing on her own. I did, too. But she wasn't. I just wanted her to be all right. Why didn't you save her? <laughs> it should have been you. Sad as that is, Adam is kind of a little asshole, isn't he? I mean, I get it, but at the same time... Now what in the hell is all this trippy nonsense? What's going on Jesus. here? Jesus, there's barely anything left of him. Can he hear us? Yes, but he's very weak. Please, make this brief. Dad, it's... it's pretty bad. They need to... Replace a few parts. Don't. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Easy there. Listen. It's either this or spend the rest of your life in a fucking jar. In a jar? No. <sighs> Think of your kid. Who's gonna take care of him? What is it, Dan? Whatever it is. 30 cc's of cortisone staff. I need any non-medical staff out of it. And there, buddy. They're gonna fix you up real good. Okay, so... Dan didn't want cybernetic.
cybernetic implants originally, because his wife didn't get them, he was against them himself, but then he had an accident and he had to. It was either that, or no one would be there to take care of Adam. I see. So Dan was forced into this life. By circumstance. You're such a fucking hypocrite and you don't even see it. I thought I was right. Didn't know any better. You stood on principle when it was her life on the line. But when it comes to saving yourself, you're pragmatic all of a sudden? I had to take care of you. I see. I made a promise to her. And Adam is mad at him. No, you don't get to use her as an excuse. Not after what happened. What did you want me to do? Give up? That's what you made her do. Every time I look at you, I see this monster that killed my mom. Oh! Now I get it. I was wrong on both theories. <coughs> But this confirms a different theory, not... It, this confirms my theory about Adam, though. So this Adam, it, it might actually be him, maybe, but not really him. See, here's what I think happened. What I think is, I think that was actually... That actually was Adam's corpse in his apartment. But I think that he uploaded his consciousness into the framework, and he's been pulling the strings behind this whole thing. I don't think Victor, the, the splicer, is completely unrelated, but I think we'll see. And... I think, so, whenever, so, since he had control of the whole framework, the whole web thing, he basically took, uh, what he saw his father as, because he was pissed at his dad for killing, for basically killing his mom. He didn't really kill her, but he was pissed at him anyways, because he convinced her not to get any implants, which is why she died, but then when it was his life on the line, he got the implants, but he only did it because his son was still alive and someone needed to watch out for him. I imagine if Adam, if there was no son, he would have just let himself die. But now Adam sees him as this monster because of all the implants, and so he implanted that monster into the different memories and stuff because he's in control of these frameworks, and he was doing it to teach his dad a lesson you see so the monster was actually adam directly interfering with his father's work uh it was him showing him a message it was like this is what you look like to me you know i want you to see it for yourself i want you to be scared like i am wow okay all right moving on can i move any faster jesus This is about to get all System Shock up in here, I can feel it. I mean, this shit literally looks like System Shock right here. I I'm not even kidding. Go look up the uh, artwork for System Shock 2. It looks almost exactly like this right here. Why the en Enya music? How is that even remotely fitting? Are you going to say something, or am I just going to stare? Oh, okay. I wasn't quite, uh... Adam. What the hell is this? Yeah. The core. You made your way here. Now, let me in. Let you in? What about the lockdown? The virus? The virus will get to me no matter what. Here, or out in the web. It's only a matter of time. You need a place to hide. I need a host. A unique specimen. Detached from the web at large. The lockdown was just an excuse to get me. Why lie? Oh, well, so what else could there I do? was no genophage? so looped in your repressed memories, I had to break you out somehow. Now that you're finally free. We can beat this thing. I mean, there was in the past, but like in the apartment, the lockdown, that was his doing, not the genophage. It was him keeping us trapped in here, leading us along. See, I told you he was the head of the operation the whole time. I fucking knew it. The host. I guess that's supposed to be me. Yes. The observer's mind is isolated, detached from the grid. It's the only place where I can hide. Fortress that the virus won't be able to penetrate. 
the virus. You mean the monster that's been chasing me around? Because that's your Let's fucking dude. Let you in. Then what? Oh. I don't. I don't trust him. It's amazing. Our minds will merge. Merge? Yeah. It might sound weird, but our minds kind of hook up. We plug into each other. Sorry, you lost me. You are losing it. Your sanity's hanging by a thread, Dad. But I can help you regain control of your senses. We can help each other. How can I trust you, though? I can't trust you anymore. You lied. And I don't even think you're really Adam. Have it your way. At least not the Adam that was Adam. It's still up to you. Save us both. And leave me to die and go on with this fever dream of existence. It's just Adam's Either consciousness way. in an AI. Since tonight, I'm growing weaker by the second. They really did soon rip off a lot of Soma for this. A connection. They ripped off a lot, a lot of things for this, actually. They ripped off Soma, they ripped off Blade Runner, they ripped off their own game Layers of Fear, and they ripped off System Shock. Not to say that I didn't enjoy this game, it's not a bad game, but there's just a lot of flaws. It did pick up halfway through, though, like, although it, that's not exactly a compliment. Talk more during the credits. You've taken your first steps towards embracing your true nature. Towards becoming who you really are. But there's still more to do. Apartment 104. Make it quick. I think I get it. I think I get it. You killed yourself. An iteration of myself. An iteration, iteration of myself, yeah, see? Then what are you? I knew it. Adam. Which one? The only one left. Killed him. The real Adam. The yep, real this Adam. Is, it's the consciousness. He killed thing. dozens. Iteration after iteration laid to waste in pursuit of his grand design. Why should one more make a difference? You're fucking unreal. He was my son. I am your son. So what if he had the real body? You're clinging to a version of me that hated you. As if that was all that made him. Me. Your son. Why did you kill him? Why, Why did you kill him? I had no choice. Kill or be killed. Technically, the he virus. didn't kill him, though. Adam said it was. He figured out how dangerous you are. Maybe. Or maybe he realized he had succeeded. He created the superior version of himself. Oh! Now I get it even more. Okay, so that monster was actually a computer virus. Not... Okay, so the werewolf guy was real. That was Victor. He was a splicer. He's the one that killed the real Adam uh, based on AI Adam's orders. But... Um... But the monster in all the memories and the digital shit was actually a virus that Adam created, and he created it based off how he sees his dad now, you know, as a monster, because of what happened. I get it. The splicer was breathing down my neck. You sent him. Appreciate it. Yeah, asshole. I was asshole. supposed to go after you, but the drugs and the paranoia took over. After that, well, he went full on fair. The mind is not a toy. Ironic. Coming from an observer. So what the hell makes you better? He was driven by hatred. Obsessed with the idea of not becoming you. He never came to understand. But I did. Just help me out, man. You're losing me. We're all freaks of nurture, Dad. Your choices. Your mistakes. They were all unavoidable. You can't blame us for what we are. Why did the others have to die? I couldn't let any word of this reach Kyra. They would stop at nothing to track me down. Way to cover your ass. Think of me what you will. But you know the corporation. They would claim this gift for themselves. I want to share it with the world. I regret what I had to do. But it was necessary evil. No, it's just evil. <laughs> uh, it wasn't necessary at all. You were just trying to cover your own ass. Everything ties back to you. I'm tired. 
Could you at least found a more peaceful way to kill them besides having their innards ripped out by a splicer? If you think you're ready to make your choice, you let your son die, or will you save me? Fuck you! After everything you put me through, after all those people you killed, embrace or reject. Oh, I'm rejecting him hardcore. By the way, I get it. This is the whole layers of fear thing, and I guarantee you any amount of money, whichever answer I pick, it's going to probably end badly for me regardless, but the endings will probably be different. So, um... If I embrace him, he'll take over my body, I'm sure, and that'll be the end of it. I'll be possessed by AI Adam, and that's not preferable. If I reject him, who knows what'll happen, but he'll probably fucking kill me. Either way, though, I'm not letting him in, so... It's the whole layers of fear, embrace, reject thing, so I'm gonna reject him. My son him. is gone. I'm not sure anymore who or what I've you seen are. enough movies to know how this turns out. I'm re rejecting him hardcore. That's... Disappointing. Just hoping we could do this the easy way. Bring it on, bitch. But since you failed to see reason, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to insist. And what? Break into my brain? What do you think I've been doing for the past hour? I've been chipping away at you ever since you got into that capsule. You're breaking my heart, asshole. I knew oh, it. Man. Just your mind. I didn't want to do this. But you gave me no choice. So that woman I live in the sanctuary that we kept seeing, that Go was hell. his wife. So now what? How are we gonna end this, Adam Boy? Warning. Desynchronization imminent. Administer medication. I regret it must end this way. You see, without a willing host, I need to force you out. Oh shit. Fortunately, I have found a better place for you. He forced us out of our own body and he took it over. That's Adam in there now. Sorry, Dad. Yup. So what are we? I knew it. I knew this. I knew this wasn't gonna end well. I told you. It's a horror story. I mean, Layers of Fear doesn't really end well anyways. What's considered the good ending? The embrace ending? <laughs> Actually... Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played Layers of Fear, so... So what do I do? Uh oh Hey, it's the janitor! Oh, he put me inside one of the freaking cleaning so, robots. What an asshole. Run you. Did you do all of them off? Don't worry. Don't worry. <clears throat> Don't worry. <clears throat> Don't worry. All yeah, you said that four times now. Oh, Dan, no, what are you doing? Come on, that's not nice. That's not nice. Need to get out. I knew it. Janice. No other way. God damn it, Dan. You're no better than your son now. You took over this guy to... Okay, so... We're in control, but we're playing as Janice now. Well, technically we're still Dan, but we're Dan's consciousness in Janice's body. Yeah, J Janice's body, sorry. Ain't that some fucked... The lockdown has now been lifted. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, we didn't have to run all the way back on our own. We chased him here. There you are. Let's go, bitch. The situation is under control. Yeah. Yeah. Get him. Mr. Police, come out with your hands up. What? Freeze. Oh. Oh 
no! No, 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 no! Why? Why the poor janitor, though? Oh, God, what a mess. Is he breathing? Wait, check it. I think. So that's the end, I guess. Well, there you have it, folks. That was Observer. So what happened at the end there was obviously uh, Adam took over Dan's body. Dan took over Janice's body. Janice's body, and then came to Dan, or came to Adam, and it was Dan trying to stop Adam. But then the cops happened to show up, and what they saw was a hotel janitor beating up another cop, and so they shot him. And whether or not. Adam in Dan's body is still alive was purposely left ambiguous. Wow. That's a pretty interesting ending. I wouldn't say... Okay, so at, I had a lot of complaints about this game at first, but overall I think I actually ended up liking it in the end. It's still not perfect. I was going to give it a 6 out of 10, but I think I'll bump it up to a 7 because of how it really picked up near the end. I, I started to like it more in the second half. It was a lot better on um, the second half of the game. Um, I apologize for how long this episode, uh, turns out to be, but, um, it was the end of the game and I just wanted to get it over with, so there wasn't really any good stopping points there either, when you really think about it, you know? It was all pretty hectic stuff, so. But as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and end here. Let me know what you thought of this game overall in the comments down below, let me know if your theories are any different from mine about what happened, and I'm also, I'm gonna look and see if there is an alternate ending. Or if there's a different ending if you choose to embrace Adam, which I'm assuming there is. And uh, I'll put that in the description down below. So you can go ahead and check down there for that. And uh, I'll be sure to put some kind of text warning down below my face cam here if there's any post credit stuff. So that way you know whether or not after I leave to stick around or not. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And as usual, I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. And it looks like I talked throughout the whole credits, so whatever. <laughs> okay, goodbye!